yeah. Good morning. Well, it's good morning for me. You'll see the lights a little bit brighter. Got that just woke up voice going on. Hope you're all doing well. Hope things are going good. It's a crazy world out there. So if you're like me, you're looking for something to ground you a little bit. Take you away from the madness and, well, Mercabian Akhenaten's got your back. For some raw dog entertainment. So I hope you're enjoying yourself. I definitely am. So, just posted up that uh, long deck building, face smashing fest that it was uh, for the five color prismatic deck. I think I'm going to go in there one more time after three consecutive losses. It happens. It's not perfect. And it clearly still needs some assistance. So I think that there's some good mechanics in there, clearly. There's some stuff that can really be awesome. But in its current state, it just isn't quite hitting it. Not quite nailing it. So, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can make some changes. Being receptive to change and constructive feedback is one of the keys to successful, happy life. So as we're talking about distracting a bit, well, it's also good to reconcile the necessity of our sufferings, our shortcomings. Is it not? You have to wrestle with that, because if you don't, you're just going to be living in a denial bubble. And, well, guilty is charged right here. I love doing that. Or escapism, whatever it may be. That's not the road to any sort of resolution. And it's definitely not the road towards any semblance of happiness. But alas, Let's hop on our gratification train and play some magic. <laughs> anyway, no need to get philosophical this early in the morning, I don't think. Okay. <clears throat> well, I still think this can do the thing. I made a couple of flubs during play as well. Uh, the choice to search for glory for Essica and Prismatic Bridge was kind of dopey on that second game. Probably could turn that one around. It's funny watching yourself play games and then going back like, what, what were, you, were you even thinking? <laughs> it happens. I was just having fun. It's not so serious, you know. You're allowed to lose a little bit. Anyhow. So. I don't know. I, And Seraf did the job. That was cool. Enough removal in there with poison the cup and, and kill, 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 blow up everything with these eight. I think... I just think this should do it. And I guess really what I'm seeing here is there's still... I've got no two casts cost anything. And... I could really use... A little more creature meat. Just some... Just some bodies to block. Um, Color spread. Where are we at? black and green heavy not much on the plains front hmm. perhaps it's ramp too you know what you got five color deck and not enough mana fix you can be in a world of hurt so hmm 
I love a good Gilded Goose. The Lysian Karyatid is usually my go-to with that. And then you get that, that bump if you get a 4 plus creature power out there, which isn't a problem for this deck. It's loaded with that. So how about... How about that? Let's throw a couple of them. Or Lotus Cobra. Lotus Cobra gets the aggro so hard. I mean, I get it. It's can be pretty, pretty awful to be on the other side. When all of a sudden I've got three extra mana somehow. And you're like, why? Why are you doing this to me? But it definitely, as soon as you throw it, I'm just waiting for it to explode. Like it's made of dynamite itself. But I feel like the carry tits, yeah, everybody's like, eh, whatever. Not as threatening, but in essence, it's, I mean, it's giving you a, a similar return. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, what's this all about too? I've seen this rolling around. Sorry, I'm blocking the way there. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. It's got me brain turn in there. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna leave it alone at 92. Not adding anything else in there. Let's go ahead and just rock and roll. Yeah. We just want to see this five color snow deck just really give it all it's got. Sonic's 87 may have something to say about that. Okay. Brought in a couple of Lotus Cobras because I'm tired and not having the land that I need. Ma. Nice little curve out here. I can do some stuff. This is good. This is good. I'm into that. Sonic's getting his hand here. Incense are going really well. It smells great, a little Nag Champa. Always got incense going like every moment of my waking life at this point. Love it. <sighs> a little aromatherapy for the spirit. The spirit in Hebrew is a ruach. I'm learning Hebrew on the side here. Fascinating. Fascinating. Every letter has incredibly deep meaning. It's both a symbol, a number, and a letter at the same time. Pretty neat. All right, so let's bam. Mm, he's got nothing going on. I'm gonna pop Cobra. The next turn I could drop another Cobra, drop land. And if he's got anything going on, Frostbite and Ascended Spirit, bam. All right. So, shabam, cram. I'm gonna need a red. Uh, I'm gonna need a blue. 
Nuke. Creature. Swing. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Gonna need to get this spirit boosting. I do not wish to tempt a lessening of creatures on my side. Got core warrior equipment deck, it looks like. I have messed around with that myself. Good times. Lots of power, and when it clicks, it's super, super fast. You got double strike going. You can rip somebody's face off by turn four. Uh-oh. I was just eyeballing them all of the Skyclaves. I was like, hmm, we should put that in here. All right, I really needeth the more mana now. I don't have any Landos to drop. But this will work. Next turn, but I gotta bleed for five again. Swing while there's the chance to, yep. Hold that frostbite. I can boost up Ascended Spirit to 4-4 four, four Angel. And then maybe uh, get a strategic block in there. He's got first strike though. Noop. Oh, yeah. And they're all flying. That's good. Uh, that's a good workaround there. Get those puppies into the air. Yeah. Nah. We ain't having that. I'm going to go here and here. I want to go ahead and get another deuter on the board. and swing. I think I got you there. Sonics. Oh. Goodness. Wow. Careful. Mm. All right. Had the necessary removal to keep them at bay. Stacked up a bunch of, you know, just rando mana producers, but they were enough to overpower in numbers and we got through it with a win. We'll take that. So it is possible for the deck to win now. Ratio is not great, but we've at least seen it do the thing. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and open up our victory pack real quick. Mystic Reflection. Whoa, 
okay. Huh. That's pretty cool. I could see that being fun. All right, then. Well, we'll take a little rapid fire win. You have to keep rolling this deck and see, see what it can do. Glad the mana fix worked. Lotus Cobra. Man, I'm going to miss that when it's gone. That card is probably my top five for Zendikar, for sure. Um, yeah, feeling pretty good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming around. I'm going to post this up. A little short shot. And uh, I guess I'll see you soon. So, like, share, subscribe. And keep on coming around, and I'll keep on playing magic for you. So, Mercabian Akhenaten, signing out. <laughs>